Okay, today we're gonna wash our roof. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna wash it. I'm just using Tide detergent and water. And uh, this is what my neighbors here told me, and I've been reading it. It works pretty good. They got special stuff out there to do. We'll see how this works. Get back to you. Let you know on our uh, progress. Rubbing the side now, or the slides, They're coming pretty clean. Check the tape when I'm done washing it. I need to retape the side outside there. It looks like I might have to do that. But check the seal while I'm up here. But, uh, that's how we're doing uh, top of the slide. And rinsing it. Yeah, works a little bit better. Now we're going to start up here on the, the front end, the top, work my way back, get the slides as I go, get it all wet, water down. When we get down to here, I'll have to wash. The exterior, the full exterior. Okay. This will be water here. A soft bristle brush that I'm using. You can see. This brush is only about 18 months old. I've had about 18 months. This camp, so it's not really dirty, but I would wash it so we could inspect it, maintain it. And Sure stays in leak proof. Here's how I'm getting the side here. This brush is kind of scrubbing my side. Nice, easy. I'll open the awning up here pretty quick. And I'll have Jan open it. You can see the dirt I'm getting off here. It's only after 18 months. But uh, yeah, it really. I think it was time to wash so I could inspect it all. Something to get up right here too close so I can use a rag. That way, make sure you can really see what's under there. You can see I've re-cocked it before. Uh, a while back I, I noticed the caulking was kind of breaking loose, so I use the uh, stuff for the rubber roof, self-leveling, and put it on there and it just follows where it's got to go. And that's the way I do it. I'm going to wash the awning. Got it out, going to scrub it. It's a little dirty being all rolled up and out underneath trees and stuff, so that's my next deal. And I'm working my way back. So what I'll do next time, I'll probably start here where it starts to go forward and work my way that way. And then come back here to work my way this way. Instead of you start from end to end, you get that front done, and everything else you wash and wrench, you gotta go up there. So I'll probably start here and do it that way. Proof how dirty it was before I'm up here. And there's when it's you're done. There's the slide out that's not been washed. It's when it's been washed, still got the black spots. I probably have to reseal it, retape it, to get those black spots away. Uh, at least I know it's I'm about half done. Really, I see the difference. Yes, pretty good. 
That's a pretty good job. The awning's worse, so let it dry and then roll it up. Say one more thing about the tight. Use it. It makes the roof extremely slippery. Uh, I've got tennis shoes on. Make sure there's nothing on the bottom, but you've got to be careful because this rubber roof uh, and the tide makes it very slippery. But make sure you get it all the way rinsed off so you don't have any streaks coming down after you wash the side of the camper off after you're all done. But uh, use extreme caution because the roof will get is slippery while it's wet with the uh, the tide. I'm sure anything you use is going to be, be slippery. So just be very careful on the roof. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Complete. We're 42 foot long. Four slides. And it took me about two hours. But I'm done for a year or until it needs it again. But uh, I'm happy with the way it turned out.